So this is our differential volume and the general energy balance over this volume. We have the energy into the system minus the energy out of the system and plus heat generation rate within the differential volume. This equals the change of the internal energy of the system. Let's now analyze each of these components. So we have the energy flow into the system, which is in our case only the heat energy. We have no work done. So the heat rate conducted into the volume in x direction is Qx. We can write it in the form of the Fourier's law. We use a partial derivative for the temperature gradient in x direction because the temperature could be changing in y or z direction as well. However, we are only examining the one-dimensional heat flow. But since we want to come to the three-dimensional derivation, it's good that we write in partial derivatives. The heat conducted out of the right phase, out of the differential volume, at x plus dx, can also be expressed with the Fourier's law, where the dt over dx is evaluated at x plus dx. We can now relate these two terms, the heat conducted into the differential volume and the heat conducted out of the differential volume. The heat conducted out of the right phase, Qx plus dx, can be written as Qx plus dqx over dx times dx, where dqx over dx is the change in the heat rate in x direction. I found this a bit confusing at first. Uh, I want to make sure that you understand this expression. If we imagine a situation where the heat rate is changing linearly with x, we can draw a diagram where we have qx on the y-axis and the distance x on the x-axis. This point on the line will represent the heat conducted into the element, so q at distance x, and qx plus dx is another point on the line which represents the heat rate conducted out of the volume, so at x plus dx, and dx is the thickness of the differential volume. In order to relate these two points, we recall the simple rules of a line and its slope. We are dealing with a classic linear function here. So the slope of the line dqx over dx is written as qx at x plus dx minus qx at x over delta x. And after rearranging, we get the expression for the net flow of heat into the system, which is the heat conducted into the system minus the heat conducted out of the system.